what's interesting here is that we have a case of using an object, of using a tool um, in this social context, in this context of, you know, exploring social relationships and building social relationships, potentially of hygiene. And in a situation where the two animals are both getting, poten you know, probably the same benefits at the same time. You know, we don't have one whale with a stick scratching the other one. We have two whales with kelp between them simultaneously rubbing it against each other. And that's really unique. Even the idea of using a tool to groom is actually quite rare. So primates, you're right, uh, many species of primate, all social primates will do some grooming of one another. But examples of primates actually using a tool to help them do that are really rare. Um, and mostly in captivity and, in, in, you know, um, primates under human care, you know, doing dental grooming with it or, or finding a radio antenna and scratching each other's backs with that. This kind of widespread common behavior in the population, you know, everyone seems to be doing it in the Southern residents. They're doing it all the time. We just, there's not really any examples of anything like that where it's become commonplace in social interactions to use a tool to enhance that interaction. So I, I think it's really special there. And it's a new con it's a brand new context for tool use in marine mammals. It's not something we've seen marine mammals um, use tools for before.